name is David Norzad. I live in San Francisco Bay Area, California. I'm an IT director for a company. Um, I love to play soccer and uh, the love of soccer has caused some injuries uh, which later on you'll hear about it, what made me to come here. I played soccer professionally in Germany and then I stopped, I, my career ended. Then in 2006 I started to play again. In 2017 uh, a gentleman hit, instead of uh, hitting the soccer ball, hit my knee here and my knee was collapsed basically. I did a um, MRI, uh, the surgeon there removed the meniscus and my kneecap was so loose you can actually grab it and move it around. It was that bad. I could not walk. He, six, seven months later, he said, Mr. Norzad, I'll tell you one thing. You have to stop playing soccer, play golf. I kind of joked with him. I said, golf is for losers. I want to play soccer. So what I did was initially, after doing the surgery that did not help, um, arthroscopic surgery, um, and I was told my knee had to be replaced, I started looking for alternate medicine. A friend of mine, he showed me a video of Mel Gibson, the famous actor. I actually looked at that and I looked in depth and why is it this different? That really put fire in me. I remember this was 12.30 in the afternoon at the soccer field when the guy told me this. I went home and looked at it immediately. I went to the website, filled out the form. I said, oh my God, I want this done. What convinced me about Panama versus everybody else, when I saw the video of the founder of this company, that they said they collected life, they regrow it, and they're called golden cells, and you get live cells injected. To the best of my knowledge, Panama is the only country right now that has this, that nobody else has it. Because I did a lot of detailed study about what, what the procedure is, the only uh, challenge I had was worried about traveling, but uh, oh my God, well, this is the first time in my life I felt like royalty. Why am I being treated so royalty? Brought me in the hotel, front desk, beautiful. I mean, everything is already ready. I mean, all these little things, the way they package it together, it's like you guys are caring for the well-being of patient more than anything else. And from here, go back to my room. If I needed a system, they take me in a wheelchair. And the staff, uh, needless to say, uh, Given that English is second language here, but everybody speaks English, everybody is smiley, everybody is nice. I feel very confident in, in the way you guys are treating your patients from start to finish. From making a phone call on the phone, whether it's in person, you come to front desk and you get in the treatment room, you go back to your room, the follow-up calls. When I went home, there was a bottle of uh, uh, supplement for me and they called me to check on me. I said, wait a second, <laughs> my doctor's never called to check on me. And I told him the whole details and he was very happy to hear from me. He said, that's great to hear that you're doing well. So all this is, I wanna thank you all for doing a good job and taking care of this, please keep it up. So that's what makes it makes this clinic, in, in my opinion, Panama Clinic, Stem Cell Clinic is a, is a second to none in the world because you really care about your patients. And that's what I love about it. Forwarding to stem cell treatment, past that, my life changed 180 degrees. All of a sudden here, I am back on the soccer field, back with these same friends. They were laughing and saying, David, you're running like a, a tank because, because I did not have the pain. The knee tightened up, the kneecap and everything was back in good place. One thing the soccer guys told me on the field, my attitude has changed. In fact, one guy this morning told me, said, David, when you, when you did your treatment, you were a much calmer and nicer guy. So again, can you put a price on that? No way. There's obviously some truth to this medicine, to this treatment that is helping me out. Without it, I wouldn't be sitting here. Without it, I wouldn't have the life I'm having. Increase my quality of life with my wife, with my family, with my friends. So obviously, not being in pain and being healthy, you, you radiate the happiness and kindness to other people, no matter what. I, I'm telling you, when you feel good, you run good, you play good, everything is good, life is good.